What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to The Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell with the found, who is the founder of the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual Zoom studio by a second time podcast guest, Dr. David Minkoff. David, how are you, brother? I'm great. Thank you for having me again. Of course. It's very awesome to have you. So guys, David has an absolute luminous pedigree. Uh, Real quick, he is a very, very accomplished former emergency medicine in Community Hospital of Newport Ritchie, Florida. Top 100 hospitals. I'm looking at your bio and obviously going through it and stuff like that. But what I really like about David is he's also created a supplement company which is very, very, very successful. He sends me supplements all the time. It's called Body Health, Optimizing Health and Vitality. They have a ton of different products. Um, They have a perfect amino drink, which is actually on my shelf over here, which I can't see because my wife moved it somewhere. I don't know where it is, dude. And his newest product is actually one, um, correct me, my my brain just melted. It's on- um, Electrolytes. Electrolytes. And he just sent me uh, the- uh, the, the version, I think it's, um, it's not grape. Is it grape or uh, fruit punch? There's watermelon and orange. No, orange. The orange. I can't drink watermelon. And it's phenomenal. I, my wife and I have been using it in our garage workouts <laughs> for about two weeks since we've had it now. Um, talk a little bit about it, David. But then, you know, also just kind of give me a little bit of background. What's going on in your neck of the woods since the last time you were on the Jay Campbell podcast? Okay, good. So the, I was looking for electrolytes. I, I do Iron Man and I, I've got... I've got number 44 coming up in uh, about seven Amazing. weeks. Amazing. So and by the I'm way, tra- tell everybody, how old are you? I'm 72. Amazing. Okay, continue. 44th Ironman. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and I think they're going to not cancel it because everything this whole season has been canceled so far. Right. Uh, I, I, I entered eight races and none of them have come off, but it looks like they're going to keep this one going. Where, where, is, it, where is it being held? Uh, Panama City Beach, Florida. Nice. It's Iron Man, Florida. Don't have to go very far then. That's good. Yes, yeah, seven hours probably drive. There you go. Um, anyway, so I'm always looking for uh, optimizing my own performance. And I was playing with electrolytes and looking at other blends of electrolytes. And then I got this idea that since, you know, we should add amino acids to electrolytes. So we have this product called Perfect Amino. It's eight essential amino acids. And we started experimenting with giving good amounts of sodium and potassium. So uh, 150 milligrams of sodium, 100 milligrams of potassium and trace minerals and magnesium and zinc and putting two grams of amino acids in and per serving. And it, I tell you, it really makes a difference. I'm, I'm keto adapted and this, I have no hunger for four or five hours on a bike ride if I drink the, the electrolytes. My brain is sharp. I think the addition of amino acids to electrolytes potentizes whatever they do. 
Right. And, uh, you know, it's Florida. It's 95 degrees. It's sure. 95 humidity. So it's really hot. And I just don't have any trouble. I'm not bonking. I'm not cramping. And um, I've experimented taking them, you know, just uh, we have little packets now. So right. you can just take the packet straight, yeah. drink some water with it, uh, goes down and um, really just a great, I encourage people to try it if you're doing. So what is actually sports. in the uh, what is in the carbohydrate? Or is I mean I mean is there any matrix? Is there any like is there again? I don't have it in front of me. It's at my house, but like is there an electric? Is there a form of carbohydrate that? Carries? No, there's no carbs. It is virtually no, no calories. Carbs. Okay. It's electrolytes and amino acids. Right. Yeah. And the amino uh, acids really don't have any calories either. So it's it's you know if you wanna if you need fuel with it then you mix it with something else you know sure. you can add some kind of powder with carbohydrates of you know whatever you prefer or goose or or whatever but in it itself it's just electrolytes uh it's actually a good drink you know if you're no, gonna, I was gonna say, it you... tastes really well it actually tastes really well yeah so like sometimes for dinner i'll have it i'll just put a scoop in a glass of water and drink it with some ice it tastes really good so um People, a lot of people have tried it and we're getting great reviews from people on it. So yeah. if, if you're looking for an electrolyte drink that's got some real stuff in it without artificial crap in it of any kind, um, it's really good. So that's one of our newest ones. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, like I said, I graciously, you guys sent me and my wife and I have been using it for two weeks. And uh, like I said, I find the constitution of it really good. It mixes really instantly. You know, I have like a, um, you know, a funnel and I just put it in like a big water bottle. Um, and I drink it, you know, through my training or and, and through my day. And obviously I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm technically keto adapted because I fast. Um, but I mean, I'm sure I've got trace ketones on the days that I'm fasting. Like today, you know, I'll fast probably 20, 21 hours. But um, I'm interested in, in your keto ad adaptation. Um, how long have you been doing keto? Off and on for probably four years. Um, and I usually train you know, with no, I take amino acids in the morning before I go right. and I might add a, we have greens powders and red powders. So I, there's a little bit of carbohydrate in there, but sure. usually I don't eat anything and I take water and electrolytes and I can go six hours with no problem, you know, at a pretty, pretty intense pace on a hot day and my body does fine. What is your training like right now? You know, obviously you're training for hopefully what is going to be an Ironman soon, but uh, what, what, what does your training look like right now? Like versus tr a training day versus an off day. Is there any off days? Uh, yeah, I usually take Mondays off. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are, I lift weights and I do um, hit workouts on a stationary bike. Uh, and then I, and then at noon I'll swim between 2,000 and 3,000 yards. On Wednesdays, I do a uh, usually five to six miles, but um, with uh, one, two, three, four minutes of real hard with a couple minutes rest um, worked into that. On weekends, uh, I usually swim. Last weekend, I swam uh, two and a half miles, and then I ran 13. And then Sunday, I rode uh, 85 miles sure. and ran for about a half an hour, which I wasn't running fast, but probably a couple miles. Are you swimming in the ocean or in a lap pool or where are you swimming? During the week, I swim in a lap pool, but on the weekends, I go in the ocean. I'm here in Clearwater, so yeah. we're right on the beach. Yeah. And um, What's it like so in, in Clearwater right now from like a COVID restrictions and stuff like that? Do they, are they really militant or can they just let you go in the ocean? They don't really care. They're not watching you. No, the beaches are open. You can do whatever you want. If you go in a grocery store, in a restaurant, you got to come in with a mask. Uh, right. But Wait, well, Don't get me going. Get, don't let me get you going on that because obviously out here in California, you got to go with a mask everywhere. The only place I don't wear a mask is in my office in my building. <laughs> Hey, I work, I work, and I wear a mask all day, so we yeah. have to. I got it. Yeah. No, I got it. Well, that's what I was just going to ask you. Like, how is it affecting your actual medical practice right now? Like, how much, you know, how much are you practicing right now from a medical side of things right now? Well, busy. I mean, I'm 50 hours a week in the clinic, and I don't. Um, most of the patients I see come from out of town, and most of them have serious illness. They have cancer or Alzheimer's right. or Parkinson's right. or Lyme or chronic fatigue. Uh, we don't let anybody sick in the clinic, so everybody gets screened. You know, if you if you have a temperature, if you have cough, any symptoms, we test everybody. So, right. 
because uh, I don't want anybody coming in here and getting these sick people sick. Yeah. So we've had nobody get sick in the office. None of the staff has gotten sick. I haven't gotten sick. You know, I think if, if you just take reasonable precautions, you're, you're, you're going to be fine. All the people are sick, or most of the people are sick, have underlying issues. Right. You know, absolutely. Have, oh, morbid, inflamed. Yeah. Right. No doubt about it. I mean, and all the data sets point to the fact that the majority of people who technically, quote unquote, have, you know, attributed death um, to COVID had all those pre existing conditions. Like, literally, I mean, it's like 0.0004% of people did not have any of those conditions and actually died. And that was probably due to poor treatment, right? If they intubated these people, knowing what we now know about the disease and how it attacks, you know, it causes hypoxia, right? Because it attacks the oxygen content content in the red blood cells. And initially when people didn't know how to treat this, if you got intubated and you were, you know, already struggling to breathe, it just was the death knell. Right. You know, right. Uh, Let me ask you um, about your practice. If if I can, Um, what's some of the latest stuff you're doing right now for in uh, preventing uh, neurodegenerative disorder, like Alzheimer's and dementia? Like what are some of the highest, most advanced or exotic treatment protocols that you're utilizing? Really, we're going at two things. Everyone that's got these diseases, whether it's some kind of autoimmune disease or Lyme, they have other comorbidities that have to be discovered and dealt with or or that person's never going to recover. Right. So, um, you know, they've got infected root canals or cavitations or right. chronic Epstein-Barr, or they, you know, the average neurological patient has a bowel movement about once a week. Wow. You know, you can't, you, you know, their nutrition is usually bad. They're mineral deficient and amino acid deficient, and many of them have parasites. So, you know, we do a really detailed investigation testing wise to find out what are all these things and then work on those. And then on the neuro enhancement, um, we have uh, hyperbaric chambers, so we put people in there. We do peptides for neurological regeneration. We do um, exosomes and we do nutrition and we do IV ozone and we do pulse magnetic field. I I think we have the biggest array of, I like toys. And so (laughs) we have toys. What peptides, what, what peptides for neurodegenerative specifically are you using right now? I usually alternate um, uh, TA1 and TB4, sure. a month of each, off and on. Yep. I alternate cerebral lysin and dihexa. Okay. Um, and uh, I usually put people on BP157. Sure. And those... And that, are, you using, are you using, I didn't mean to cut you off, but are you using BPC157 for gut and microbiome irregularities? Yes. I'll use it oral for gut and microbiome and we, and do an injectable for everything else. Right. And sometimes people are on both. You know, if I get somebody with Crohn's disease or IBS, I'll give it to them orally and I'll give it to them, you know, sub subcutaneously. That's beautiful. I I ask a lot of the uh, orthopedes that come on the show, uh, you know, and I'll ask you, and I know you're not an orthopedic surgeon, but you're, you're obviously very versed in this. You know, where are we now with peptides being obviously the future, the current and future of, you know, medicine or optimization healthcare, as I call it. Um, How close are we, you think, David, right now to where we don't even have to consider an MCL or an ACL, you know, replacement or that type of surgery because some of these peptides are so acutely pronounced in their capabilities if dosed correctly and obviously, you know, at the right time. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I, surgery is always the last, last resort, sure. you know, unless you have a complete tear where unless the thing gets reattached or it's so shredded that you need an artificial tendon or something right? that, that in most cases where it's a cartilage tear or a tendon strain, you can get, you, you know, prolozone is a phenomenal treatment. Right. I, in my, I, I trained under Frank Schallenberger about 10 years ago. Sure. And I probably had one of the largest prolozone practices around. So I've done, I've done many, many thousands of prolozone injections. And I found that virtually for any pain, back, neck, knee, elbow, wrist, ankle, didn't matter, that four to six prolozone injections uh, over a period, you know, separated by about two or three weeks, that 85% of the people got great relief to no pain at all, you know, to wow. having no pain at all. 
Wow. So now sometimes you add some PRP to that. You know, if I didn't get a response, because prolozone's cheap. Sure. You know, like it's cheap. It's, it's you know, 250 or something for an injection. Right. For, a, for an area, like a whole low back for $250. Right. Not right. expensive. And your average guy can afford it. Right. And, um, you know, if that didn't work, I would then add PRP. Sure. Uh, and, um, and then, and now we're doing exosomes too, but exosomes are expensive. Yeah. You know, yeah. a CC of exosomes is going to be $2,500. So, so, you know, some people that have the money could do it, but right. most people don't need it. Right. And then if you combine it with pulse magnetic field, and then we've got a hyperthermia unit and hyperthermia heals nerve cells and soft tissue. And you put the hyperthermia unit on it and you give them the correct uh, PT rehab, you can get healing in many of these things for most people within a relatively short period of time, right. you know, three, right. four months, they right. can be back to the gym or doing what they like to do. It's amazing, man. I mean, again, it's what I call, you know, golden age biotechnology. You're, you're right there front and center in it. Um, yeah. And then I, I didn't mention too, but like, like now you add, you know, you inject locally, right. EP 157, exactly. TA one, you know, exactly. some of these things that are, that enhance healing, Right. And I tell you, I've, I've used these things on myself and they're just, they're just, they really work. I carry you know, BPC 157 with me when I travel around the world, just in case. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course. Well, let me ask you, Doc, um, you know, obviously we all have heard the stories of, you know, the FDA shutting down TaylorMade and, you know, other now compounding pharmacies are under scrutiny and stuff like that. What are your thoughts, big picture on where it's going. Are we becoming more draconian or is it going to become eventually less draconian as more and more people realize the therapeutic value of peptides? You know, if you look at biotech, this is where all the research is. Senescent cells, how do you rehab them? I mean, every major pharmaceutical is dedicating huge money to this stuff. Sure. Now, sure. there may be a political thing with this, of who's gonna have control of this area. You know, is a compounding pharmacy gonna be able to make it? Or right. are you gonna to have to go to Lilly or Big Pharma somewhere I hope not. Pharma. and buy it from them? And I think that's where the turf war is. And I think right. that's what's happening with the FDA. I but think I think so. in terms, I think there's gonna be availability. It's just gonna depend on who, who you're gonna be able to get it from because it works too well. And, you know, even with diabetes, you know, you, there's stuff that are, there are peptides for diabetes, you know, right. these these uh, these uh, glucagon blockers that right. are they're they're like they really work right you know? right so and so anyway I think it's I don't think anybody is going to hold this back because these are pharma they're they're pharmaceuticals you know they're pharmaceutical right. manufactured right. and I'm I'm optimistic about it and I think that's that that's good that right now they're available we can get them yep and. You know, there is virtually no side effects to these things. No. I've had one person get sort of a uh, shortness of breath, hive reaction, and I've given it to many hundreds of people. Was so, that from thymus and alpha or BPC? Uh, he wasn't sure because the label came off the bottle and he's my next door neighbor. <laughs> and he calls me up on the phone. <laughs> no! he, calls, he calls me up on the phone. And he's like, I can't breathe. What happened? I don't know. I these peptides. I injected one of them, and you know, I'm I, I'm getting hives, and I don't feel good. So I said, "Hold on." So I you ran over the there. Whole and, bottle. <laughs> anyway, he looks bad, and <laughs> unfortunately, all I had at home was some Benadryl, which was from my dog. Oh, that's so all. So we gave him the Benadryl, and then I found some. You know, I had some, some, some prednisone also for the dog, which I gave him and I was about ready to call the ambulance and he, he, you know, he responded and he was okay. But literally we probably have had a thousand people take the things with no side effects at all. And sometimes just incredible rehabilitation, like Parkinson's patients right. who can't walk, you know, they can't smile. They're completely stuck. And in six to nine months, they're walking three miles. Amazing. And the neurologist is shaking his head because right. he told them, you know, you're maxed out on your dopaminergic drugs and I don't know what else I can do for you. Right. And, of you course. know, you're, you're going to, you're going to die. And now, you know, he's 62 years old, he's an engineer and he really has a life back. 
So. That's amazing. Well, see, I mean, Doc, and you know, we talked about this the last time we podcasted, and obviously I had this conversation with so many different docs. It's like, we're getting to that point where optimization, which you do, wellness, functional medicine, is really starting to come to, you know, blockheads with sick care, right? Because sick care doctors, you know, we can't blame them, right? They only have, you know, their bag of tricks, you know, that they've been trained and they've understood. And you know what it is, because at one time, you know, you were doing the same thing in emergency care medicine. We all have to right. expand our horizons. But, you know, I'll, I'll ask you, and obviously I ask this very passionately, how far are we away from sick care really unraveling? And people who like work with you now, you guys, meaning front and center, integrative wellness, you know, health optimization doctors become the real system. Because that old bullshit is dying, dude, right? I mean, it can't last much longer, can it? The problem is, is that the industry is controlled by the insurance networks right. and the way the insurance companies, and they don't pay for the stuff that we do. So unless you have people that are enlightened enough to think, I'm going to trade my six pack that I drink at night right. for some vitamins and minerals and you know spend a couple thousand dollars a year on medical testing so I can see what's wrong with me. Right. And I'm just going to budget it for myself and my family uh, or have a health savings account right. and put the money in that sort of thing. Right. Most people are so indoctrinated that, well, if they don't pay for it, I'm not going to do it and it must be good and I trust my doctor and I'm going to go with that. My copay is $40, Jay. Right. Right. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with U.S. Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. But, but, but to that point, don't you think at some point there will be a system, you know, um, disruptor where there will be a benefit slash, you know, healthcare insurance company or co-op or, or health savings or something that offers doctors like you in its network and people can then collectively, I mean, again, I, I, maybe I'm just being Pollyanna, but I really do, David, think that we're, we're much closer. People are waking up all across the world right now and they're, they're, they're really starting to question things. They're questioning that nonsense. You know, obviously I have a cult of people who follow me, who live and breathe working with guys like you, who, you know, all they want me to do is push people like you on the show so that they can hear about you. And then they can say, Hey, you know, I watched you on Jay's podcast and I want to work with you. There are way more of you than there are of those guys. And I know you're right. And what I mean by that is that there's more people like you with the courage to go the other way. And, and, and I personally, and again, I, I could be Pollyanna, David, but I really do think that, you know, you're leading the revolution. You know, obviously guys like me are helping televise it, you know, through YouTube, but right. you guys are really front and center to a completely disruptive force that's going to change the healthcare industry. I mean, again, do you think I'm too Pollyanna-ish? No, no, I think it's coming. I mean, big farmers buying up vitamin companies. Right. Sisson, Sisson got his company bought by a great big, you know, big ag, big, big pharma company. These guys see it. I mean, they're right. going where the business is and the right. business is going in this direction. You know, vitamins are, I don't know, 50, $70 billion business now. Absolutely. Right. And those companies, I mean, they're getting multiples. I, I just saw one, $250 million Crazy. for a company that wasn't even doing 20 million Crazy. in sales. Right. So they see it. And there, it's coming. And I think that, um, you know, most of us have given up our hospital privileges. So we're not in hospitals. We can't do right. this stuff in hospitals. Right, right. Uh, and, you know, in a hospital, some of, these, some of these places where they're experimenting with high-dose vitamin C, like in the COVID thing, right. they're giving, you know, two grams of vitamin C IV every six hours. And I'm giving cancer patients 100 grams of vitamin C IV Right. You know, every day or three times a week, whatever it is. Um, 
and I had a pharmacist uh, from one of the big cancer hospitals in Tampa Bay. And I was, I was, I had a patient that they were doing both things. They were doing some chemotherapy from them and we were doing the supportive care. And the guy had a terrible cancer. It's a cancer of the gallbladder bile duct, which is a terrible cancer. Like the survival sure. rate's terrible. And um, he was, so he was coming in here a couple of times a week and getting ozone and high dose vitamin C. And his oncologist called me and I, he said, what are you doing with him? And I said, yeah, I said, why do you ask? And he said, well, he's not getting sick from the chemo like he should be. Uh, so I said, well, we're giving him vitamin C. And I said, he said, how much are you give him? I'm like, well, we give him a hundred. He's a bigger guy. We give him a yeah. hundred grams. And he put the pharmacist on the phone and the pharmacist says, you're giving him a hundred grams. What? And I said, yeah. He said, what? He said, that's toxic. You'll kill him. <laughs> I said, I've only done this 10,000 times. You, you know, I like never the pharmacist. I'm the doctor. We can end this conversation now. Right. It's just, there's a, there's a, there's a, you know, it's just a not no, you know, he, it, right. and, and I think what's happening with what you're doing with, and with what I'm doing is the awareness is getting, is spreading and it's yes. seeping in. Yes. And some of these guys are like, maybe I ought to take a look at this. Maybe this would help this. I have a friend who unfortunately last weekend on Saturday afternoon at three 30, he's sitting in his house, he slumps over uh, and he has a heart attack. Okay. And it took him seven minutes for the EMTs to get there. And they were trying to do CPR and they didn't, couldn't get an IV and it was just a mess. Anyway, he ends up in the hospital and he's, he's got a flat line EEG. Wow. So they think he's brain dead. And his wife called me and is there anything you could do? I said, you know, this is really a bad situation and I'm not sure I can do anything, but I know that there are people with severe brain injuries that do things like high dose progesterone and right. TB4 and right. TA1 right. and cerebral lysin and these things where you give them high dose IV repeatedly that maybe you can get some, but I said, we can't do any of that stuff because it's a hospital and it's got to go through committees and it's got to do all this stuff. Right. And so, you know, there wasn't anything we could do, but, but I think that I think that it's coming and it's good and, um, and that big farmers is going to jump on board because they want effective pro I really think that, you know, they're not all devils who are trying <laughs> to just poison and kill everybody. I think they're interested in business and survival. And if the products that they use really work and have low toxicity and they can make money on what they do that they're going to go with these things and that's why they're selling vitamin d prescription and fish oil prescription and digestive enzymes for prescription and they insurance covers it and people take it and the and and doctors recommend it as if like this is the next best thing and i said we've been doing this for 25 years you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, i'm just laughing because i'm thinking how you said they're not all devils there's only 50 percent, right and then it's like it's like, we got to keep the slaves longer. We'll give them better formulations so that they can live into their 80s and they can continue to pay us. <laughs> I love you, David, man. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, first off, I'm sorry for your friend. Did he die? Yeah, he did. Ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, you know, but that point is like, as soon as they get, they cross that, that line of demarcation where they're now in managed, you know, Something you know, he's 53 wow. and he's, he wasn't, you know, he had a bad lifestyle Yeah, and he just knew that he was fine. Right. Uh, he had played pro soccer as a kid or as a, as a college student. Yep. And then, and he was, you know, he had had a very high level of fitness, but he didn't, he wasn't living good. Got himself and good. he, yeah. he, you know, he snuck up on him. So yeah. Yeah. That's why I think his, I think people too, that, because of the nature of the difficulty in getting good food and the toxicity in the environment, that it is worth it for people to, whether you feel good or not, starting at probably 35 years old, is to get into someone like me and spend a few thousand dollars on some very detailed testing. You know, how are my arteries? How are, yes. do I have deficiencies? Do I have heavy metals? Am I full of parasites? Because you can alter the direction of your health if you know what's wrong with it or what's going on underneath the surface, like 100%. cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease, 50% of the first presentations of cardiovascular disease is a fatal heart attack. Right. right. It can be very subtle and you don't know it. And there you are. 
So we have ways I, I to reverse these. 30. I would I would say, I, so obviously I implore people and I agree 100%. I would say 30. You know, there's all sorts of data intensive tests now. You know, um, what is it? Uh, TaylorMade has now true diagnostic. You know, there are ways to look at your metabolic health, you know, and not like your chronological age and, you know, understand like where you really are. But I mean, again, I mean, for the amount of money that it costs, it's a no brainer, right? And I know I'm sure you're administering a battery of tests if they come work with you. But I mean, obviously, I highly recommend that. I mean, anyone with the means to do so should be at least spending and I, you know, I've debated this many times, but I personally believe if you're not spending at least 5000 as a minimum a year, on your personalized healthcare, then you've got your priorities out of whack. I spend, my wife and I spend up to ten to twelve thousand dollars a person for our for our healthcare per year. And again, that's through evaluations, that's through the supplements that we take, that's through you know optimized living. I mean, again, it's just people have such things such backwards. I mean, you know this, right? Like how many guys and women have built their businesses, you know, got to 50, have 10, 15 million dollars in the bank and one foot in the fucking grave because they're fat metabolically disabled, morbidly obese, insulin resistant, you know, on and on it goes. So it's like, what value do you have if you can't utilize all that hard work you put in to build your business? Right. Right. You know, there's so many people like that. It's just, it's mind blowing. Doc, man, it's always a, a great time getting a chance to talk to you. Um, if people want to work with you, of course, and obviously I highly recommend that they do. What is the best way they can go about doing that? Uh, go to LifeWorks Wellness Center, all one word, LifeWorksWellnessCenter.com. That's my clinic uh, for products and lots of information. Go to BodyHealth.com. There's hundreds of videos on there and podcasts that I've done. Yep. And uh, I think it'll give people an idea of, of what we're doing and are they a match? And then they can call, talk to one of our girls, find out if, you know, three quarters of people that I see come from out of town. They'll spend a couple months here, you know, if they have, if they have real illness. Right. Um, and the average person that we see is certain, has seen 13 doctors with an unsolved medical problem. And about 85% of those get better. You know, they'll spend a few months here and they'll get better. And it's, you know, it changes their life around. So people, people are going to ask this question. So let's, let's cover it. Um, you know, right now due to COVID, obviously a lot of uh, restrictions have been lifted, you know, due to like tele, you know, telemedicine or, you know, wh whatever they call it now over the computer and stuff like that. Are you guys um, able to work with people now remotely from all different parts of the world? You know, cause I mean, obviously you want to lay hands on people. You want to do a buy a battery of tests, but like how have things changed for your practice since COVID? Not really. I got to see them. I got to touch them. And then a lot of the treatments are, you know, their IVs and their the things that we talked about, and sure. I need them here. Yeah. Uh, and that a couple of supplements usually aren't going to do it, of course, uh, because they're they're you know they're just they're too sick. So Florida's pretty open. Yeah. Do you and, have people come then once a year? So if somebody wants to work with you and you know become you know your patient, do you have them come once a year? Is that kind of how it is? So yeah. Or or you know until they get stable, it might be two, three month intervals. Right. Um, but then once they're stable and they know what they're doing and they're fine, then yeah, it could be just an annual visit to see. Well, how many how people doing. are coming to see you for like guys like me who just want to be better. They want to become cyborgs versus people that have, you know, not taken care of themselves and want you to optimize them. What would you say your percentage or differentiation is? 85% are sick and 15% are well, or they're pro athletes. Or okay. So we got to get more people like me to become patients of you. So we're going to use this podcast actually. And I'll, obviously I'll talk to some of your people after so that when we run this, you know, we can use this as like a publicity stunt, but like why, you know, to end the show, why should a person who's like me, almost 50, I'll be 50 in February, who's already got his health dialed in. Why should somebody like me come and work with Dr. David Minkoff? Well, you're an optimizer and you can only optimize what you don't know is perfect or is good. And so you need information. And uh, we all have our blind spots. And the job of the doctor is to find the blind spot and then plug that hole or fill it or expand it, you know, depending on what's needed so that you can be even better longer. Right. You know, the, the theoretical human lifespan is maybe, I don't know, 120, 130, 150, depends on who you talk to. Right. But if you look at guys who have made it to 110, they don't look so good. You know, they're right. alive. Exactly. But, uh, but, you know, once you get past 80 for most people, 
it's just not like it used to be. Right. And I don't think it's necessarily genetics. I think it's right health practice and knowledge and support. And I think that in the next probably 10, 15 years with all the work that's being done with peptides and stem cells and, and uh, you know, thing, you know, printing organs and this, all this huge exactly. thing yeah. that if you make it another 10 or 15 years and then you get these things replaced or re rehabbed or right. fixed or whatever it is, right. that then your future, you might add 25 or 50 years on your lifespan. I, there's so, no, dude, look at you, you're 74 and you're running 44 Ironmans. You've got one coming up. You don't, I mean, your energy is that of a 35 year old dude. Have you had your metabolic health looked at? Like, have they given you the age? Do you know like what you are metabolically health wise? Like from an my age? My Garmin point? says I'm 32. There you go. I, I, I would my, say you're probably 28 to 35. That's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I can't do what I did when I was 32, but I'm not doing bad and I'm having fun. And I think those are the, the that's the, you know, I can, I still want to play. I'm still in the game. I can still, you know, at noon today, I did a hard interval pool workout. Nice. I loved it. I was outside, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's great. And it's, and, you know, I sat down last night with my wife and we talked about business goals and like, do we want to just blow this thing up more? Do we want to expand it? And the answer was, well, why not? Of course. You know, I'm of not going to sit back. You know, most guys my age are retired and I think they're crazy because all the amazing. fun is in creating and working and having a game and having barriers and working at it. You said something that's interesting. and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pry your brain open on it. So you said, well, you know, I'm not the guy I was at 32 or 35 or whatever, and, but, but I'm still blank. What is a separator? Like what, truthfully, like what could you do better at 32 to 35 that you can't do now? Because I would argue that you're way more aware and cognizant the, of you as a being. So I would say, ah, uh, yeah, that's just yeah, my and the, the, the thing that bugs me is I used to really be a fast runner. You know, I, I was a really fast runner, Got you know, 36 minute 10 K and, uh, and I can't run anywhere near that now. And I, I'm trying to figure it out, but I haven't figured it out. Bionic you know, like an legs, interval. dog, bionic legs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so now it's an interval workout and I'm working just as hard, but it's, you know, four minutes a mile faster than it was then, you know, it's, so it's, it's that, you know, uh, it's that kind of thing. What are you doing? Otherwise, by the way? Are you using a life cycle or a Peloton or what are you doing for the stationary bike? I have a Wahoo. So I put my, my bike up on a, I got a thing that gives you hills that goes got up it. and down and, a, got it. you know, and I can plug in any course in the world and put yeah. virtual and ride it. So yeah, that's it's, awesome. it's, a, it's a great system. That's awesome. Doc, man, it's always a pleasure, man. I, I think this was really profound. Like I said, I'm going to talk to your people when, before we run this and we'll come up with something like an incentive to get people okay. who are on the show, um, who watch the show. Cause I have a lot of very affluent and sophisticated people. So, you know, I think you did a great job of like really expounding on like all the things you're doing. I mean, the part when you were talking about all the peptide therapies and all the different things you do, um, I think you're going to get a lot of people, but anyway, we'll, t we'll talk about that. So there's like some sort of an incentive to get people to w come in and work with you. Cause I want to see you work with 50 percent of people that are all into like becoming better i mean i want people to say like fuck i want to be like dr minkoff i want to be 74 years old doing 44 triathlons i mean that's that should be the goal i mean that's why i bring you on my show i mean i like to celebrate amazing people who don't see age as anything but a number right because you know it's not about how old you are it's how you feel Right. And the other thing is, and I'm 72, actually, but thanks for the 74. 74, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I said 74. 72. I gave you two extra years, bro. Yeah. Here's the thing that I think most people when they're 35 or 25 or even 45 don't understand is that if you like games and play and expansion, that that is still there when you're 72, like oh. it was when you're 44 oh. or 34. Right. And a lot of people have the idea that it's there then, but when you get old, then it won't be there. Yes. And then it's time to wind down and then you don't do it. And I can right. tell you that it doesn't change. And as long as you stay in the game at whatever it is that you like to play, I like the triathlons, um, you know, that if you, if you keep working at that and you keep working at your health, that it's just as fun and maybe more fun when you're older as it was when you're younger. Right. You know, 
you 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 have more money you may have more time and you know the guys who are doing it are doing it because they love to play and so when the 10 of us get on the starting line of an iron man you know we're looking at each other and we're sizing each other up just <laughs> like we did when we were 35 well, the and i'm thinking stomp you right yeah well and i'm looking at him and i say like i'm a good swimmer i'm gonna beat you out of the water and I can hold my own on the bike, but if you're a good runner, you're going to win this race. Right. But you know what I mean? It's right. just, it's a ball. And then afterwards we sit around and talk or, you know, go out on the podium and get the award. You know, it's, it's life, you know, and life is fun when you're alive and you're, and you're eating it. And it's no fun if you're sitting in a nursing home and someone's feeding you soup and you're watching TV all day. Totally, man. And again, I, I appreciate you coming on the show. I've loved talking to you as always. For all you fine ladies and gentlemen, you just heard the amazing Dr. David Minkoff. Please pick up his supplements at bodyhealth.com or consider working with him as at the URL that he's already provided. Like I said, I'm going to do a special promotion when this podcast run to get more of you to work with him. So remember, Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see all of you guys very soon.